You are now joining the Umbrella Corporation's quarterly shareholder meeting already in progress. Umbrella Corporation, our business is life itself. And so you see, with my new and improved D-Virus, we can create even more devastating bioweapons. Everyone will want the D. Thank you, Dr. Virgil. And we will give them the D. They will all get the D. Thank you, Dr. Virgil. Really wish you had picked a different letter there, but still, your work on the new virus is very promising. Now, we're going to move on to the call-in portion of this quarter's shareholder meeting. Oh, and I see we have some new names on our list of investors, so if you're just joining us for the first time, I am Dr. Snyder, Director of Shareholder Relations here at Umbrella Corporation, and I will be answering any questions you may have about our most recent diabolical endeavors. Also, I would be assisted by Steven. He's an intern. He works the call-in thingy. Oh, uh, yeah, that's that's me. I'm Steve. Yes, Steven! I said that. Now, who is our first caller? Okay, our first caller is Jerry from Colorado. You may proceed, Jerry. Yeah, hi. Um, Where do the customers buy the umbrellas? Excuse me? Well, you see, I'm on your website, and I don't see... um. Well, there should be like a buy umbrella button or something. You gotta make it easy for the customers to find the product. No, um, sir, we do not make umbrellas here. We make horrifying bioweapons. So then what, like the umbrellas are on Amazon or? No, no, there are no umbrellas for sale at any location, physical or otherwise. You see, we create unholy abominations using viruses that mutate human or animal, sometimes plant DNA. That is what we do here. Actually, boss, one year for April Fools, we put a button on the website that said, buy an umbrella. And, but if you clicked on it, it just took you to the to the never gonna give you up song. You know, the song, never gonna give you up, never gonna roll around. Steven, be silent. Do you have any relevant questions for the boy, Jerry? What about, like if you made an umbrella that was shaped like a woman's panties? Steven, move to the next caller. Because see, then when it rains, the panty umbrella would get... Okay, our next caller is Michael from South Carolina. Yes, Michael, you have a question for the board. Yeah, my name's Michael, uh, but you can call me Balls Deep Value. Absolutely not. My question is, are you guys going to do like, uh, like a line of NFTs? We are a bioweapons company. Michael, why would we want to make NFTs? I don't know, you could have like a, like a zombie NFT or like a zombie smoking weed or, or like a board zombie point is you need to get on the blockchain web 3.0 baby let's go to the moon oh yes i'm i'm starting to see it now maybe like an 8-bit tyrant that people would just love now you're talking baby make it happen yes all right well thank you for your call michael steven um find that man and have him killed on it boss uh steven i can't help but notice there seems to be a a change in the quality of our shareholders you wouldn't Happen to know an explanation for this, would you? Oh, I I thought you knew. Umbrella is a, it's a meme stock right now. A meme a stock? Yeah, it's like, uh, you remember the GameStop thing? People made a bunch of images with Umbrella Corporation and our logo in it, and then they posted them all over online. And then people bought the stock through like Robinhood, and then the app notified them about this shareholder meeting, and, the, and so here we are. But the stock's up like 130%, so it's a good thing. Is it though, Steven? Is it a good thing? Because I just... <laughs> You know what? Uh, I just realized we only have time for one more call-in. So, uh, Stephen, if you wouldn't mind, please put on the final, the last, the very last uh, shareholder. Okay, uh, here's Clark from Ohio. Yes, go ahead, Clark. Yeah, so I'm looking at the catalog of bioweapons produced by Umbrella here, and I'm wondering, how are they packaged and shipped to the user? Yeah, so, okay, phenomenal, a question about bioweapons. Oh, well, we have a number of ways to package the bioweapons. My personal favorite is a pressurized cylinder that we can then airlift and drop directly onto our customers' targets. And, and in the cylinder is the bioweapon they ordered? Yes, correct. Okay, so hear me out. What if Umbrella sold cylinders that contained a chance at a really powerful bioweapon, but usually just contained like a regular zombie or a bunch of glitter or something. Why would we want to do that? Oh, people would love it. See, people love the thrill of not really knowing what they're getting for their money. Plus, you could charge way more than the price for a basic zombie because there exists the chance that it could contain like a tyrant or a liquor or something. That's all I'm 
crate! You're talking about an Umbrella Corporation loot crate! Technically, it would be a loot cylinder. No, it would not be, because it is never goddamn happening! Jesus Christ, you people! We here at Umbrella Corporation are evil, but there's a line! There's a goddamn line, and you are all way the- You know what? Give me that computer, Steven. I've had it with humanity. Which one of these buttons unleashes all of our bioweapons? Is it this one? Is it this one here? Prepare for Armageddon, you worthless pieces of-